here's just some clips of Rich and Charlie and I out dual sport riding. Um, some of this is in Lake Tahoe, and some of this is in rural Fresno and or San Benito County between I-5, west of I-5, and east of Highway 25 in truly, God, rural, empty land. And so I, I had always wanted a dual sport like I bought the KLR 650. I dreamed about this. This is one of only two bikes that I really daydreamed about for a long, long time. Well, I guess I did daydream about a Trail 90, and bluntly, with Honda making the Cub 125 into a Trail 125, if if I ever get my balance back, I swear to God, I'm buying one. I just think that. Uh, and anyway, so I have never bought a motorcycle that I've been disappointed in. Every bike I've ever bought, and I knew what the capabilities were and weren't, and it was acceptable to me. So did I expect the goal, uh, the goal win to do 140 miles an hour and be a road racer? Of course not. Uh, um, that's what the Sabre was for. So I love the KLR. I mean, for a pure fun bike, it was the most absolute fun of any bike I've ever ridden because you could just... You just ride anywhere. You know, you're in traffic, you split traffic, you ride over curbs, you ride through bushes, and by God, you get into some rural land. Um, Charlie and Rich and I w went out in the rural uh, Nevada more than once and shot guns, and God, it was great. It was so much fun. And they're great to ride on the street. Uh, they had pretty good power, even though I'm a big ass. Um, in fact, one time, Charlie and Rich and I were heading east on US um, uh, 50, east of Fallon in Churchill County, out by the sand dunes, and Rich had an XT600 Yamaha, which was a lot more dirt-oriented dirt uh, than the KLRs, which were kind of more street and uh, fire trail, though we did hammer them big heavy pigs up single uh, single track trails, so, you know, Charlie and Rich were far superior technical skillful riders, but I only had to have them bail me out once. Anyway, we decided, Charlie and I looked at each other and we decided, hey, let's see how fast these sons of bitches go. So we cracked a throttle all the way to the stops. Rich just does not have enough uh, a bike to keep up, obviously, so he can kind of pair us back. And it's Charlie and I on our matching 650s, and I outweigh him by at least 70 pounds. But I had the faster bike, and I slowly pulled ahead of him, and we're doing probably 90-ish. I mean, they're not going to go that much uh, faster. They're a single-cylinder bike. I mean, you know, you're only going to be able to, to thrash them so hard. But I remember that. And then we drove out because I wanted to find a fault line for the 1953 Fallon Quake. And I, went, I don't know what I'm uh, uh, um, looking for. And we're off on some dirt road somewhere. And these guys uh, look at me and say, dude, do you even know what you're looking for? And I said, well, shoot, I don't know. I thought it'd be obvious. So we rode back to Tahoe and we did a bunch of dual sport riding, Charlie and I, Rich and I, and Rich, Charlie and I. and. Uh, my dual sport got stolen out of the garage in Stockton. I had just dropped the comprehensive, and I didn't replace it. So that's just one of a million KLR stories. Uh, and thank you for watching Storytime with Joe. And there you go.